Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to top five niches of the week. This is episode 103 and we are going to be covering some print on demand niches that if you target in the short term will increase the likelihood of making sales because for the most part, actually, I think today across the board, they are all trending niches and there is going to be a ton of sales taking place in well, we are focusing, I'm going to give you a little preview. We're focusing specifically in on one major niche that I think just about everybody, actually, I think, yeah, definitely everybody uh, can relate to. All right. So you can maybe guess what niche it's going to be today, but if not, you're going to see in just a second. So let's get started. First, really quickly, I am extending the print on demand giveaway because I am not actually home this weekend. So I had to pre-record this episode by about a day in advance. So make sure you Take advantage of the free weekly print on demand giveaway. The link is at the top of the description if you haven't already. Also down there, I've got an eight day print on demand mini course, completely free. All I need is your email address and I'll send you one lesson a day for eight days to help you get started with print on demand. And I've got a great print on demand Facebook group, lots of free help there. The community is helping each other succeed at this business model. So make sure you check that out. All right, niche number one and the overarching overarching arcing arching i don't know what the word is overarching ching yeah the big niche that we're targeting today is mother's day all right and i've actually got some good mother's day sub niches all right but we're gonna start with the best selling mother's day sub niche and uh i'm thinking i can't tell you with 100 percent certainty but after doing my research based on average bsrs i think that the mamasaurus Okay, the the Mother's Day plus dinosaur T-shirts are probably the number one uh, sub niche within Mother's Day. Should not come as a surprise. We know that dinosaurs sell extremely well year round, and they cross niche with just about everything. So, go ahead and get you some Mamasaurus shirts if you don't have any available for sale. One note: uh, the one in the middle there says, "Don't mess with Mamasaurus. You'll get giraffe gir- kicked." You know, use that one uh, at your own risk. Like I, th- I think personally it's fine, but it's when you start typing your keywords. If you say anything related to Jurassic, like I don't know if that's gonna get you in trouble or not. I always link in the description my video called "Is This Niche Safe?" and it goes through my best process for validating keywords to keep your account safe. So I do recommend if you haven't seen that video, and I plug it all the time, <laughs> that you go check it out because it's really good stuff. All right. All right, and here we go from Pretty Merch Pro Plus. We get some in-depth uh, statistics into um, some of these. So this one is actually, I picked this one because it is a uh, relatively new submission. It's ranked up here in the top six on Mamasaurus, and uh, it was uploaded in April, so April 10th, all right? So not that long ago. So definitely uh, that should give you some inspiration if you're trying to break into this niche. Also, I mean, they're priced at $19.99, so for all we know, they could be running ads. The higher you price, the more cushion you have to run ads at a uh, at a profit. Niche number two, and this is mama, mommy, mom, bruh. Now, we saw this, I think, last week, and you'll notice there's definitely a lot of consistency in the design style. I don't know if it's meant to only look that way, like if it's from some, I don't know, some celebrity maybe wore the shirt. I don't know exactly. So just, you know, do your due diligence. I never recommend like cloning other people's designs or like really closely replicating. You do want to be original if you're going to enter a sub niche of, you know, any any big parent niche, like in this case, Mother's Day. Um, so definitely like maybe you could think outside the box and make your own design style of this, but it's certainly selling really well. Um, average BSR, I mean, this might actually be selling better than uh, the Mamasaurus, honestly. Um, by the way, you know, I, I, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. I was looking at Redbubble because a lot of times when I'm looking for out of the box ideas and sometimes I do a little arbitrage, I'll look at Redbubble to find niches for Amazon merch and vice versa. Uh, I saw the Father's Day equivalent of this shirt trending already. OK, so guys, remember, if this is doing well right now for Mother's Day, it's probably going to do pretty well for Father's Day. All right. And that's not too far away either. So there you go. That's a quick little tip. And it will will not surprise any of us to see the Father's Day version of this mama, mommy, mom, bruh, um, you know, trending for Father's Day soon, too. Uh, So here we go. Niche number three. And this is like pet mom. All right. So we got cat mom. We got dog mom. We've got specific like behind me. It says pity mom. So you can really attack this from any number of directions. If it seems too 
too niched down, uh, I would invite you just to do a little bit of research. Like for instance, like the, the pity mom. So it's a pit bull dog mom shirt. Like look up how many, you know, people in America or whatever market you're selling on own pit bulls. It's probably like millions of people, right? I, I, can I say that safely? Probably millions of, of people own pit bulls. Um, if not millions, let's say hundreds of thousands. So there's definitely a market for it. And if you need any validation, like I know I'm blocking it here, but if I hide myself for a second, you can see actually the two shirts right next to each other are both uh, pit bull shirts that are indexed on uh, dog mom. So definitely take that as a hint that Mother's Day is not just going to be about, you know, having human kids. It could be about your pets, right? So thinking a little outside the box and, you know, drawing some inspiration and taking guidance from the best sellers on Amazon. This is why we use tools like Pretty Merch Pro Plus because it literally puts it one click away and then you just scroll and uh, the work is pretty much done for you. So, I, I mean, I love efficiency. I love anything that saves time. So I'm a big fan of that. And I always link to it in the description as well in case you want to upgrade. Niche number four is sports moms, you know, baseball mom, cheer mom, soccer mom, basketball mom, football mom, whatever it is. All right. Lots of uh, mothers have kids that play sports. My parents always told me when I was in high school that if I didn't want to play sports, I had to get a job. Of course, I mean, I, I liked playing sports. I played, you know, I played a lot of sports, honestly, soccer, basketball, um, basketball, soccer, basketball, football, baseball, ran track, did volleyball one year. Yeah, I was all about it. I'm a good, I was a good all around athlete, but um, <laughs> weren't, weren't we all back in the day, right? Uh, I try to keep my athleticism up, but I'm not really, you know what I mean? My, my, tr my cardio is like treadmill now more than it's, uh, more than it's actually playing sports. So anyways, you can see by the BSRs, these are doing quite well. Um, average BSR looks to be probably right around 200,000, if not slightly under 200,000, which is a good indicator of um, potential as we get closer and closer to Mother's Day. This next week really is going to be critical for the Mother's Day sales as well, because I believe it's, uh, what is it, May 8th, um, Mother's Day 2022. believe it is, yeah, Sunday, May 8th. So also anybody watching that needs to make plans to get something um, for your mom for Mother's Day, definitely make sure you do that. Um, note, note to self, I got to remember to do that as well. Hopefully my mom doesn't catch this video. Sorry, mom. Actually, I'm lying. I'm going to go see her today anyways, taking them out to dinner. It's uh, my parents' anniversary. So, and then I'll, I'll ask her what she wants or should I surprise her? I don't know. What should I get her? A t-shirt? <laughs> All right. So here we go. In-depth uh, analytics from Pretty Merch Pro Plus. Uh, the This is, by the way, so we have like soccer mom, baseball mom. Well, look what they did here. They made a heart. They put half the heart as a soccer ball, half the heart as a baseball, and then they put ball mom. See, people are, they're thinking outside the box and they are being rewarded handsomely. They're charging $17.95 for the shirt and they've got 49 reviews. So, I mean, hey, you got to give props where they're due. Whoever thought this up, great job. Niche number five. And this one is kind of piggybacking off of the April uh, month theme and it is Autism Mom. All right. And uh, you can see BSRs in the 200 to 300 to 400, you know, to 500 behind me. A thousand range and pretty much all of the autism shirts that were trending like the sub niches there in April you can probably just put the mom spin on and um, by the way you guys uh, you see how like there's so much prevalence of this one graphic or one graphic style um, it's not just one but you know what I mean like there's there's definitely some consistent styles as far as like on these Mother's Day mom related t-shirts well if you're wondering like Ryan where do I get these graphics I'm not good enough to design them on my own I will also throw a link in the description to Creative Fabrica, if you don't have an account, you can join for $1 for the first month. And then, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but they were discounting my link so that it was 35% off after that. So it's a pretty darn good deal. And you get access to just every graphic you'll probably ever need, including, I know I've seen these, these mom style graphics, okay? Now, you probably have to customize the, the lens of the glasses. Um, but also, I mean, hey, if you can customize the lens of the, the glasses, think about all the ways you can make shirts for moms year round, not just Mother's Day themed. OK, so I'm just saying you can join for a dollar. I will also link to that in the description in case anybody was wondering. All right. And uh, here we go. In-depth analytics, uh, average BSR or no BSR of this one shirt says hashtag autism mom life BSR 263,000 uploaded two months ago. So, I mean, hey, I'm inspired when I see shirts uploaded this year. It makes me think, okay, there's definitely opportunity for new submissions. It's not just the old shirts dominating. All right, seller trends brought to you by Flying Research, print on demand research tools. These are shirts that have seen a significant jump in BSR recently. Uh, the mom of two boys shirt, that is like 
absolutely crushing it. It doesn't have to be a new shirt, by the way. This could just be significant jumps in BSR, indicating big sales spikes. Um, this one behind me, actually, I didn't know what it was. I looked it up. It's like some collab, but I can't tell if it's like an official merch brand partnership or if it's like somebody ripping off a big brand. I don't know, but the shirt has like 74 reviews here. This this Mon baby. It's like a collab between two brands. I don't know. I don't know. There's too much going on for me to try to figure out everything, but I just thought it was interesting because it's such a simple design. All right, looking ahead, if you want to sell shirts related to seemingly random holidays, here are a couple ideas. And we're always looking a month out or so, but June 1 is Flip a Coin Day. And shout out to Two-Face from my favorite movie of all time, The Dark Knight, uh, because he says he's got the double-sided coin and he says, I make my own luck. I mean, just brilliant, brilliant. What a good movie. Uh, June 2, National Rocky Road Day. June 3, Chinese... Chinese Dragon Boat Festival, all right? And we've seen, like, Chinese New Year shirts do really well, so who knows? I don't know how big the Dragon Boat Festival is, but, hey, there could be potential there. June 4th, National Trails Day. And June 5th, Hot Air Balloon Day. All right, so there's five good kind of random niches. All right, bonus design. And this one I absolutely love, (laughs) Cinco de Mayo themed. Uh, I also love, like, the minimalist. Like, this kind of goes against most of the design best practices. Like, it's, it's not using, you know fonts that are necessarily easy to read but this is just a shirt design that people are like all right well if they get it they get it you know it's a solid design you could probably sell this in a retail store just as easily as you could sell it online and it just says turn down porque and it's got a sombrero (laughs) so i'm loving that as a cinco de mayo shirt and then it's only priced at 1307 so i mean hey they're trying to rack up those sales in the short term current bsr 23,000. so this is the type of shirt that like I don't recall seeing recently when I'm doing my research yet all of a sudden it's popped up out of nowhere and has a BSR of 23,000. So anybody that's in like tier 10, um, and this was only uploaded in March. So anybody in tier 10, I mean, I don't know if they're advertising. I'm going to venture, I guess they're not because they don't, I mean, they don't have any room in, in their profits. They have zero profit margin. They could be, I mean, we don't, we don't know, right? We don't know. But if it's 1307, I always think it's a tier 10 seller. And uh, maybe this is somebody that's just, is, it's absolutely crushing, racking up massive sales in a low tier. No way for me to know for sure, unless the person who owns this shirt wants to email me and tell me. But sometimes that does happen so, um, more than more often than you would think. All right, deleted designs brought to you by Merch Ninja. Here we go. I'm sexy and I throw it. A dart shirt. I don't know why that got pulled. Pringles, somebody just, just outright took the Pringles logo. Not good. Uh, location plus sport. They had San Francisco baseball. Don't do that anymore. Um, behind me, there's a crying Jordan. <laughs> we know that that's never, never a good look. Maybe that was from the, uh, the Tar Heels dropping the national championship game. Anyways, there you go. All right. And one other quick shirt, May the 4th, you know, like Star Wars, may, may the force be with you. So May the 4th shirts, even though this shirt has a ton of reviews, a lot of sales, don't fly too close to the sun. This is a prime example of flying too close to the sun. I would highly recommend staying away from May the 4th be with you. Anything related to that, I just don't think it's a good idea uh, personally. So I wanted to throw that out there. All right, guys, as I wrap the video up, ryanhoog.com forward slash giveaway. I actually think I don't have the right sponsors here, so ignore this. It's actually still Merch Titans, All Sunsets, Merch Ninja Research Tools, and Bubble Scout. So shout out to the sponsors. Thank you to all them. They're linked in the description along with everything else I said would be down there. And as I wrap up, I do have a full print on demand course showing you how I make six-figure sales every single year. In it, you'll see exactly how I run my business and I help you start, scale, and automate yours. If you want to learn more, there's a link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like button if you haven't already and subscribe. If you're not, I'd really appreciate that. And then have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm dropping a KDP video, a collaboration with Garo from Vexels. You're not going to want to miss it. So I'll see you there.